Okay, right hemisphere. Operation in unexplored territory. Negative emotion. Inhibition of behavior. That's this. That's anxiety. That's what happens when the Medusa looks at you. You turn to stone, right? That's the basilisk in Harry Potter. It freezes you. Why? You're moving forward according to a schema. If you're moving pro pro forward properly, you're getting to where you want to go and the schema is being validated simultaneously. I'm moving forward and the map is correct. Something happens that's unexpected. What should you do? Stop. What else are you going to do? Something happens that's unexpected. What should you do? Stop. What else are you going to do? You stop first. Then the predator can't see you. Right? That's the freezing reaction of a prey animal. So it's, 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 it's built very, very deeply into you. Very, very old circuits do that. In fact, if it's a real orienting reflex to something that's anomalous, you'll go like this. And that's to stop the thing that will jump on your back from tearing out your throat. And that's really, really fast. It's almost as fast as spinal snake reflex circuitry. Extraordinarily fast. And, th you know, that's conserved over an evolutionary span. That predator defense system is at the bottom of your cognitive apparatus. Everything's been built on that. Like, uh, it's a low resolution pattern. A higher resolution pattern that's the same pattern is built on top of that. Then a higher resolution pattern, that's the same pattern, is built on top of that, and so on. But that initial architecture is duplicated across the, the levels of differentiation of the nervous system. And that's partly why these symbols can be so archaic and still be accurate. It's still the way the world works. Negative emotion, inhibition of behavior, image processing. Right, because image, thing about images is they're fast. You know, a picture is worth a thousand words. Okay, you get the picture. You know, get the picture is actually something you say to someone if you say, do you understand? Right, to get the picture is very, very fast. So the right hemisphere manages that. Holistic thinking, that's that low resolution thinking that generalizes across instances. Pattern recognition, pattern generation, and gross motor action. Yeah, freeze and get the hell out of there. That's gross motor action. The right hemisphere is very good at that. Okay, the left hemisphere. Well, the left hemisphere, which is associated with positive emotion, by the way, that's specialized for operation in explored territory. So now what we might say is that you spend your whole life trying not to have your right hemisphere turn on. Because why would you want that? That's where the monsters pop up. So you stay in explored territory, but maybe you also tentatively expand its borders. And the left hemisphere seems to be involved in that too. So if you're curious about something, it's usually something, usually, something minor enough so that it won't blow your entire category structure if you explore it. Now sometimes you get unlucky, and you're like Eve in the Garden of Eden. You go have a little chat with this little snake that seems to be of no significance whatsoever, and it feeds you something, the apple, it feeds you something, and bang, everything falls apart, right? You collapse, and you're out there in history, you're no longer in your old paradise. <laughs>